Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rujan. In this video, we'll learn about the LCDs application with Arduino, how to print text, numbers and characters. These are actually used in many projects to display sensor output, information to the user or output from the Arduino, which will avoid use of computer and the serial monitor. So let's get started. So now let's start to know about the LCD. So what are the different types of LCDs we get in the market which can be used with Arduino. So the LCD which you're seeing on the screen is with a blue background and white text. So you get another type of LCD as well that is with a green background and with black text. So now coming into the size of LCDs available in the market, there are 20 cross 4, 8 cross 2, 16 cross 2 and there are many more different sizes and uh, different background LCDs as well. In this video, we'll be learning about a 16 cross 2 LCD. So what are these 16 and 2 numbers? 16 is nothing but uh, the number of columns of characters which can be printed and 2 is nothing but the number of rows. So now let's see how we can communicate with the LCD. There are two types of communication which can be used. That is I2C protocol and another one is serial communication. In this video, we'll see about the serial communication. But uh, if you want to do a communication uh, with uh, I2C protocol, then you will need a module, I2C module with the LCD. So now let's see what are the pins we'll be using for serial communication. The first pin which you can see on the screen is the ground pin which is connected to the negative terminal and the second pin is nothing but the power supply that is 5 volts. You can connect it to the Arduino Uno 5 volts. And the next one is a contrast control uh, which uh, you can also use a pot over here to vary the contrast. Uh, for the maximum contrast you can just ground it. So the fourth pin is for uh, the register select pin. So zero is for data mode and one is for command mode. Uh, so this pin is usually toggles between zero and one, uh, it's, which is connected to the microcontroller. And the next is read or write pin. Here we are writing the data to the LCD. So we'll be just grounding this pin. So the next one is the enable pin. Uh, this will be connected to the microcontroller and to toggle between one and zero for the data acknowledgement. And uh, the next, this, we have eight pins. That is the data pins, which is used to send the data to the uh, to display. So the last two pins is the backlight pins. So positive and negative. So you can also connect a port over there and vary the the backlight as per your requirement. So this is all about the LCD pins. So now let's get started uh, with the implementation. The components required for this are. USB A to USB B cable, Arduino Uno board, LCD 16 cross 2 display with blue backlight and white text, small breadboard and few jumper cables. So now let's see the circuit diagram and complete the connection. If you need the circuit diagram, check out the link to my blog in the description. Now let's hop into the coding part. The code is very simple. First we include the liquid crystal library and then we call a class liquid crystal and then an object, we create an object and we need to pass six way parameters to this object so what are those six parameters so these numbers are the pin numbers of the arduino and these six parameters are so the first number that is 12 is nothing but the register select and the 11 is the enable pin and these la uh, four uh, pins on the arduino board are nothing but d4 d5 d6 d7 this is the data pins on the lcd display so now uh, coming into the void setup this is the loop which only runs once so here we are actually setting up the display and we are saying 16 and 2 that is nothing but 16 columns and two rows so in the void loop section so this is the loop which continuously runs so here we are calling the object and the function and then we are setting the cursor so set cursor function sets the cursor from where you want to print the character that is uh, we are actually printing this word so the first one here is the column and the second one is the row so we are setting the cursor 
at the first point on the screen so that from that is where it starts printing this so we know this print function is nothing but the printing the the text inside this and delay function we already know from the previous videos that delay is nothing but the wait time so that is three seconds so here we mention it in the milliseconds and the clear lcd clear function is nothing but it clears the screen that is it clears whatever it had displayed and then a uh, blink function actually blinks the cursor and uh, no blink function stops the cursor blinking so all these are the same functions it's quite simple so now let me just uh, check if there is any errors by compiling it so now the code is being compiled yeah so done compiling with no errors so now it's i can upload it to the microcontroller so now the again the sketch compiles and now uh, it's uploading and it's done uploading so now let's see the output so as per the code we have written first it has to print the tasty tech harbor text and it has to bring the cursor for a few uh, delay seconds and then print lcd and then you can see it prints the arduino tutorials the loop continuously runs yeah so now let's jump to the second code wherein we print the characters on the lcd screen coming to the second code wherein we'll be using the characters so this is these are the two variables which is defined with the data type as byte and these are the two arrays it is defined in the form of an array and as the previous code we are uh, here also we are including the library and i will tell you how to get this uh, character code uh, so for that i have mentioned the link over here and uh, the link for the complete code is mentioned in the description you can go to that link and download this so i'm going to this code now so this is the open source website wherein you can generate the lcd character so there are actually five columns and eight rows okay so you can see here there are five uh, binary digits and there are eight set of data so based on the cell you are activating the number will be set to one for example here in the i have activated the first row the last column cell so that is why it is set to one so whichever shape you want here you can define it and take this code from here so jumping back to the code so this is how i have generated the two arrows the right arrow and left arrow same way the the connections are same i'm defining the i'm passing the uh, six parameters to this object inside void setup the same begin function we are using if 16 cross 2 and then we are using the create character function from the lcd object saying that right arrow is is assigned to 0 and left arrow is assigned to 1 so we'll be calling these two digits in the code below so next void loop in the void loop we are the same the same code we are setting the cursor and printing a text and then here we are actually using the for loop the print the uh, the character one by one so uh, in the int with the int data type i is equal to zero with i less than or equal to 15 and increment of one we are actually setting the cursor at the first point that is zero and then until 15 the arrow right arrow will be printed one by one with a delay of three sec three mil uh, point three seconds so then we'll clear the lcd then same blinking as previous code and then again we are using a, another uh, for loop where we are will be printing the arrows from 0 to 5 so then text will be printing and then again a for loop where we will be printing the character and then uh, the last thing printing the text with the delay so let's see the output how it looks on the lcd screen so as per the code we have written first it prints the text and then you can see the arrow mark uh, in the for loop being printed and then a blink of the cursor and then you can see the arrow mark is printed until the character where and then lcd is printed after that so then uh, the text again in the second row thank you for watching hope this video was helpful 
and the components used in this video i have mentioned the link in the description below and also check out my blog tastytechharbor.com for more topics related to electronics and there's an upcoming tutorials on how to display the sensor data on the lcd so subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified thank you again take care see you in the next one Bye bye